Good morning. This is Glenn Reynolds. Today is March the 15th. I'm the Outdoor Bum, and I'm coming to you with This Week in the Outdoors. Spring has sprung. Everything is greening up. The weather is starting to feel lovely out there. And I will tell you, it's a fantastic time to be outside. But one thing um, used to be a big deal back in Statesboro, but uh, St. Patrick's Day. And I will tell you, don't forget to wear your green. That's my little leprechaun there. <laughs> oh, man, we got a good show for you today. I will tell you, I'm, I'm excited to talk about a few of these topics. But first, we got to talk about our sponsors. And we have some fantastic ones. The Blue Ridge Bird Seed Company and their Birdman Blend. That is, a, uh, their seeds are fantastic. The quality is there. I have used it myself and do use it here. And uh, we get to watch a lot of birds on here on the Reynolds Ranch, and it's uh, it's pretty fantastic stuff. I'll tell you, if you put it in your bird feeder, the spring migration will be stopping in your yard too. And Jamie, don't be afraid if you don't live there in uh, where in Blue Ridge. Jamie can ship it out to anywhere in the country. So get online, order order some of the seed, the Birdman blend from the Blue Ridge Bird Seed Company, and that is BlueRidgeBirdSeed.com. Our second sponsor is Graxaw Gear, light, fast, and efficient gear for the backcountry explorer. And I have used it also. I always check out our sponsors before we put them on here. Austin does a great job with his products. They really stand the test of uh, test of abuse. I've used his boot dryers. They're light. I my last hunt in Montana, I had wet boots coming in one evening and. Thankfully, I didn't have to put on frozen boots in the morning because we had a heater there in the uh, in the tent. But one good thing was I put the boot dryers in it blew air through them all night and they were dry the next morning when I got up. And Austin doesn't only do boot dryers. He actually started out with game bags and they are super light and super durable for your meat. If you're out hunting and you harvest an animal, he's got the products there. You just have a little bitty bag to put in your in your bag. Pull them, uh, pull them out and load them up with the game meat. You could either hang them up to cool or you can put them in your bag and hike them out. And those product, uh, those bags are fantastic. He also has sleep systems and several other products that are worth reviewing. And that is graxaw.com, G-R-A-K-S-A-W. And the third sponsor is Central Missouri Power Wash. Central Missouri's number one choice for your exterior cleaning needs. We can clean from your roof to the ground and make it look like new. Uh, we use a soft wash system that's easy on the siding, easy on everything. We're not carving up your siding with pre uh, with the pressure. And so with that, it kills the, any mold that's growing on your house. It goes through the uh, in, in through it and into it and kills the root system. So it will stay off longer. And we also do concrete cleaning. We reseal and seal concrete. We clean windows, you name it, on the outside, and we can clean it. So centralmopw.com, Central Missouri Power Wash. Come to our website, sign up, and we'll give you a free quote. And uh, happy to do that for you. Our third, or our fourth sponsor is Glenn's Home Pros. Glenn's Home Pros is your one-stop shop for your home maintenance needs. We come and review your home, create a uh, schedule for the a maintenance of your entire home and all of your appliances. We'll switch out the batteries on your uh, smoke detectors when uh, when the time comes. We'll maintain them, clean, uh, clean out filters and switch them out, even replace your water softener uh, salt. So go on to our website, glenshomepros.com and schedule time and we'll come visit you and get you set up so that you can focus on the things that you want to be doing and not worry about your home. Now, with all that being said, springtime is a great time to be outside. First thing I want to talk about is scouting for turkeys. Turkeys are quite possibly my favorite, one of my favorite birds, if not my favorite bird. I love to hear turkeys gobble. The gobble is my favorite sound in the woods and I just makes my heart jump when I hear one gobble. Sometimes I get to hear it in the fall very rarely, but springtime is the breeding season. And so the gobblers get out and they're trying to find some hens to show off to. And so now is a great time to go out and experience that. My favorite thing to do is to get up early in the morning before daylight, go out, find a place, a field 
on some public land and go and listen. Um, now, the easiest way to do that, if you have Onyx, that's a great app to use. They, uh, you can find the field, uh, find fields and little openings where the birds may be, or you can get up on a ridge top and listen. Uh, my best morning ever that I had, and pretty unbelievable, but I heard over 1,400 gobbles one morning. I counted up to 800, quit counting for a little bit, and started counting again, and got to over 1,400. Now, I was listening to 30, over 30 different birds gobbling. I was high up on a ridge, and I could hear pretty much all the way around on all sides. And I had seven different birds that were roosted within about 200 yards of me also. So these birds were fired up and gobbling at anything, and hoot owl or a barred owl would uh, hoot and man you'd hear like six birds gobble uh, fire off and gobble and so it's a pretty fantastic experience if you've never had that um, go out early in the morning watch the woods wake up listen to them you'll hear all the different birds start sing uh, start singing tree frogs come to life and then you'll hear the crows start occasionally you might hear a barred owl um, fire off and when he does usually Turkeys will fire off too. A lot of times crows will cause them to, uh, what they call a shock gobble. And then basically when that animal caws or the owl hoots, they'll gobble right back at it. And even if you slam your door, sometimes that'll cause them to shock gobble. It's, and it's pretty cool. And so go out there and you can also do a barred owl call yourself. Basically what you say is, who cooks for you? Who cooks for you all? And it sounds something like this. And if you do that, once you get, once you're able to do it, it's pretty easy and you can get the turkeys to fire off. The other thing you do is just, you do the you all. And sometimes that'll cause them to uh, shock gobble too. So it's pretty, pretty fun. I love interacting with the birds and just interacting with nature in general. So get out, find a place. The turkeys, like I said, they like to be up on high up on the ridges or out in the openings and they have what they call a strut zone. And that's where the males go and show off for the females. They strut their stuff all around. They swell up and drag their wingtips on the ground and they'll walk around and they uh, not only do they gobble, but they spit and they also drum. And a spit sounds just pretty much like what you would expect. It's and then a lot of times it's followed by a drum where it goes. Mm. And it's a very deep sound. And you, if you're watching the bird, you can actually see him vibrate all over when he uh, when he does the drumming. And it's pretty cool to see the different sounds that they make and interact with them. And so, yeah, like I said, the boys are showing off for the girls and gobbling their heads off. And in nature... The girls actually come to the boys, kind of reverse from what uh, what we tend to do as humans. The boys go to the girls. Well, the girls actually come to the boys in nature. So humans, when we go out and hunt for turkeys, we're trying to reverse the course of nature and call the, uh, the boys to the girls. And so that's uh, sometimes that can be a frustrating experience, but it's a, it's a lot of fun. I do enjoy getting out and doing that. And I hope if you get a chance go out and do, uh, do that yourself. You'll, you'll enjoy your time spent outdoors. Now, the second, st uh, second thing we want to talk about with spring here, the temperatures and the air is warming up. Also water temperatures are warming up. And when that happens, crappie and white bass tend to move towards the shallows. And that is a lot of fun and an excellent tasting fish crappie. And so you go and what I would do during spring break a lot of times is when I caught a lot of my fish. But I would go and find a place, um, either some structure next to a shore, so like a rock piles next to a shore, or uh, bridges around them, and get a bucket of minnows, a bobber and a hook, and a little, a little split shot, put those together, and toss it out around that structure. And sure enough, a lot of times you'll start catching fish and it can be fast and furious and you can catch a whole mess of fish. Make sure you know your limits. Different lakes can have different limits too. So just make sure you know, because we don't want you to get in trouble with the law, but you can catch a lot of fish real fast. Uh, yeah, I think the best I did, I caught 25 fish one day real quick and it was, it was pretty cool. 
uh, pretty cool, but it's a good time to get outside and catch fish. And also it's a good opportunity to introduce kids to fishing because they, um, you get a lot of action there real fast. They sure do enjoy it and they'll make memories that you'll, they'll never forget. And you'll probably remember them too. And so take your time, get out there and catch the fish, get you some crappie fillets and fry them up around here. This time of year, we have a lot of fish fries during Lent and it's a, a some of them even have crappie fillets, and man, those are pretty fantastic. So I would highly recommend that for you all. The final thing I want to talk about is just a general get outdoors and enjoy our public facilities that we have, whether that be state parks, city parks, um, even our federal government has put together lands for us to use. And I would encourage you to go out and uh, use those, make use of them, uh, because they're some of them are pretty fantastic. I uh, think I'd mentioned on X earlier. That's a good place to go where you can look and see what properties are available to be accessed by the public. And you can go on and see the different lakes that may be close or far away that you can go fishing in your rivers. You can check those out um, terrain future. Just get out and explore property. You never know what you may find out there uh, in these different or on these different properties. And so uh, one of the things I like to do is if I can each weekend is go hit a new property around and just check it out. It's, it's fun. I like to see what's there and you never know what you may walk up on. Uh, like I said, turkeys, you see the deer that's around squirrels, different wildlife, take a camera with you. You never know. You may, you may become an outdoor photographer. It's, it's pretty cool and pretty neat. So uh, one of the things also that they have are a lot of these places you can go camping. So take your kids out, get them camping, just enjoy the outdoors. The opportunities abound, they're endless. And with that, I hope you all have a fantastic weekend and I look forward to speaking to you next week.